Hey Super Swing Traders, I hope you're doing good. Today we're going to take a look at some charts and see where we can identify supply and demand order flow and trade it for income. Let's take a look at the Aussie Cat and see where we can identify supply and demand levels for income. Take a look at the monthly first. I'm doing something a little different now. I'm, I'm trading, I'm analyzing monthly, weekly, daily, and four hour in case there are those who want to trade the four hour, the lower time frames. They do not catch as many pips as the higher time frames and they have to check their charts more often but some people want to find more opportunities than waiting every day for new ones so they want to find more trades so that's why I incorporated the four hour into my analysis all right let's take a look at the monthly first the monthly you can clearly see that there's a, a clear downtrend you, you connect the latest two uh, peaks, then you have a clear downtrend with supply right here. And it's in the downtrend. Let's see where the next level of demand is. Let's see. There's supply right here. And this level of demand, this is a level of demand right here. Make it bigger so everyone can see. There's a level of demand right here, and also one down here. But this is a really wide one because of this bullish pin bar. So we have a level of of demand down here. So we can still short all the way until down here. Let's take a look at the weekly. Yeah, I don't know why my broker okay so there is a level down here on the weekly okay but in the meantime we have room to drop all the way down there so we don't have to be concerned about any weekly demand to not short yet the weekly demand is still down there so we still have room to short okay let's take a look at the weekly and see it's a clear clear downtrend but if we connect the two latest peaks we have we have this peak and then this peak and then this peak so we draw these two peaks draw right here okay so this is a area of supply right here but price price almost made it and then it dropped so then it created another impulse which is this one so it created more areas of supply which is this one right here okay on the daily we have a clear downtrend again and then created this area of supply so if price retraces up here we can short so if you're trading the monthly weekly daily then the price retraces up here to this area of supply which is in the same area of in the weekly with an overall downtrend on the higher time frames then we can go short right here so that's the analysis on monthly, weekly, daily. If you're trading the weekly, daily, four hour, then we can draw another trend line down here. Then we can draw a area of supply right here. So if price retraces to this area, we can we can go short as long as it doesn't break this trend line. So if price does this and then go up here, then we want to short and then price will drop. But if price does this and then it breaks this trend line, but then 
it breaks this trend line, but then it's in the supply zone. We cannot go short anymore because this is telling us that price is reversing and we want to go short up here, which is, which is now up here, which is now all the way up here. So if price breaks this trend line and then it goes into this area of supply. So let's say that if it takes a couple of days and, and, and time already lapsed and then it breaks the trend line and then it goes up so that means that it takes it took too long for the shorts or for the it gave the bulls too much time to recuperate and get their power back to go up higher so we want to short up higher now we still want to go short because our highest time frame which is the weekly in this case is telling us to go short bias and also the daily is still also down then we want to go short up here on the weekly but as long as this trend line hasn't been broken yet we can go short right here so let's say for example that if by the time this video comes out and by the time you watch it a price goes up here and then and then goes right here we can short but if price if price does this just does this and then it broke this trend line already, but it went up there. Then we cannot short. We want to short up here now. Okay. I hope this video analysis helps you in your trading journey and helps you gain a little bit of insight on how price action and supply and demand works. And if you have any questions, just write down in the comment your question. If you have any Forex pairs you want me to analyze, let me know in the comment below and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below if you're not already subscribed please click the subscribe button below and click that little bell icon that way you'll get notified of the next video that i publish thanks again for watching